In this tutorial, I will show you how to use a React slider component and you can use it in your application. It's a great option for data selection in case you need to specify the date range, date range, or in case you need to specify the price. You can select one, two, or even more buttons. Okay, all the source code will be available on the GitHub. Link will be in the description for this video. So let's start. As you see, it's pretty popular library, more than 100, 100,000 weekly downloads. We will use version 2.0.4 and let's start. We will install it. For the demo purpose, I am using the empty project created with Create React App. I removed all useless code and now we have only app text in the application. When you run this application, you see there is empty page with app text. Okay, now let's start. What do we need? First of all, we need to install it. Yarn add React slider. And then we can follow the documentation. The link will be in the description as well. You can see that we have a list of props and methods available and we have some demo. How can we use it? Let's start from the beginning and we'll implement this simple application, simple slider. We need to copy this sample. Let's put it in the code. Next, we need to import React Slider from React Slider, and that's it. Let's try how it works. Refresh the page, and as we see, we have zero, and we can swipe it, and it works from zero to 100. And of course, it takes all the page. Okay, but UI is not what we expected. And it's really good because of you can change the UI as much as you need according to your design. There is no any default design that you need to override. You have only behavior. Okay, how we can change it? For example, we can re-implement the same approach. Let's inspect this slider and we will see that for horizontal slider class we have some styles. Let's copy and uh, put it here in the app CSS with the same styles. Now, as you see, we have border and we have width for 100 pixels. I would add also margin 100 pixels just to move it somewhere here. Okay, the next, what is important that we have tracks. Track zero is for the selected already moved range. Track one, or to be sure, it's a number of sums we have. So it will be the rest of the track. Okay, now we can do the next. We can copy styles as well. And re-implement the same behavior. Nothing new. The next, let's clarify the styles for track 0 and track 1. For track 0, we don't have, we will add something new from our side. But for the track one, we have background. Background, let's put it red, for example. 
And now, as you see, we have this UI for the rest of the slider of the path. Okay, let's add, for example, for the track zero, it will be green. And now, as you see, we can select style, but red not the best case for the rest. Let's put gray like it's not selected yet. Works great. The so next we have value. It's a thumb. So we can copy styles as well for the sum we have some default values according to this ui let's copy and uh, also in the end we have additional styles like font size and colors. Let's copy them as well. Put it in the code. So when we refresh the page, we see that we have this UI and everything works as it was in the code. The next, in case we want to clarify date range, for example, or years, we can add multiple values. For example, let's put the next one. Uh, we will have two values, it's array of values, and uh, we want to codify max will be 2023 and mean, for example, 1980. And default values will be the first and the last so it will be years range now as you see you can clarify the year you want to select all members from 2006 to 2015 or 18 the so next how can we get the value in the documentation we have on change event which returns value itself let's copy this code sample we will add these props and uh, in the console when you will move you see that we have value it's array as well and we have index of the thumb we moved really works great the next now we need to pass this value somewhere let's save it we will use use state import to use state from react react then use state it will be empty array because of we know that we will use for two elements then for the on change i want to set value value and in the code for example somewhere here let's output this value not zero one Okay, now we have this code and as you see, when we start changing, we have these values and you can pass this value to any component in your code and you will have this date selection. Also important to note that now we don't have the rest of UI of the line because oh, we now have track two as we added three sections separated by two sums. 
Okay, let's add some style for the track track two. So uh, for the two, it will be gray, and uh, for the selected area will be red. For example, let's reuse this color. And now, as you see, we have everything what we need. Also for the sump, let's fix font and uh, border radius 50%. Let's make it circle in the circle. So now, as you see, everything works fine. Only let's remove this border. Looks ugly. And now you have a great component for data selection or price selection if you have some um, e-commerce application. So, as I mentioned before, all the source code will be available in the description for this video. You can like, put a like for this video or leave a comment if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.